Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing Soul Bello. This is a sun shade slash canopy. I don't know, we'll, we'll get into what it is, but if you've been a follower on this channel, which I hope you are, if you're not, please make sure you are. Uh, we have reviewed the Generation 1, is what I'm going to call it, and this one will be Generation 2 of Soul Bello before. And uh, it's wind driven, it is just like a Tommy Bahama uh umbrella kind of the features are the same you you on gen one you had the tilt uh you had the auger built in uh all that kind of is the same where it differs is actually the umbrella part it's not an umbrella it's like a wind sail that opens up and it's actually an eight by eight uh canopy in return uh with a a decent amount of wind uh you can get this thing flapping and have beautiful shade in a large eight by eight area which is pretty cool it's quick Take up, take down, no problems. Gen 2 comes out, and what they have done is removed a lot of stuff and added a lot of stuff. So is it better than the Gen 1? Let's find out. So starting at the top, Gen 1 has a little bit more fabric at the start of it, and you can't take this wind cell off of Gen 1. Gen 2, you actually have fewer pieces of fabric, which actually reduces the drag so it actually flows in the breeze better than the Gen 1. Found that out. Uh, Gen 2, you can actually have has a Velcro piece that runs uh, halfway down or a third down on each side and from the middle out. You can take that off, collapse it, and slide the fabric right off the legs. It looks like I didn't do that, but I'm assuming that's what they meant uh, by the design is to remove the fabric so you could easily replace that. That's a kudos Gen 1. Uh, has your tilt ability. It has the automatic tilt or swivel in the wind. If the wind changes direction, it'll automatically do that. Or you can turn a knob and lock it in. Gen 2, you lose the tilt and you lose the ability to lock it in. So basically, it's always on a swivel. But in return, you have a more robust, solid uh, piece of tubing, uh, which is probably better to hold up over time. But personally, from a personal preference, I never use the the uh, tighten down swivel control so that's fine that's gone but I really miss the uh, tilt function now I he reached out to them like hey I told them what I thought about the product after the fact and actually at the beach and I said I hey, I'm just gonna let you know I miss the tilt and they're like well you can just kind of pull it back out anchor it down I'll get down in there at a tilt from the beginning so if you do go down to the beach in the morning a uh, slight tilt toward the sun, tilt slightly into the wind, not much. You don't have to do it much because there's not a lot of drag to pull the thing over, even in super high winds. So slightly tilt toward the wind, tilt toward the sun. There you go. As the sun moves, uh, switch its position and uh, uh, put it straight up and down for the sun over your head. And by the time it gets down to dusk, uh, you know, I, I usually just take everything down anyway at that point. So I still like the tilt. Uh, sorry, uh, I like putting it there, leaving it there all day, and just tilting it straight up uh, at, at uh, lunch uh, because that is less wear and tear on the auger. If anybody's had these Tommy Bahama umbrellas and stuff before that has the augers built into the poles, they will snap at some point. Uh, it just happens. Where the two poles meet, uh, you actually don't have a clamp down blocking system, which really doesn't matter with this canopy because there is no real drag there is no threat of this blowing off that's why i love these so much it is having little kids or having kids period there's so much paranoia behind a crowded beach with those resort style umbrellas in that are just death sticks and other people's stupidity on putting their umbrellas down there's always something that rolls down the beach when a storm just blows up and it's inevitable you're at the beach a storm will blow up uh, inland, outland, outland, you know, inland, whatever, it'll blow up. And uh, you just have to deal with stupidity and, and the threat. I mean, I wish something like this was just a standard from resorts. I wish that they could just gobble this idea up and just put those out. But they, they won't, won't do that. So it's just a death trap out there on the beach. You don't have a death trap with Sobello, so appreciate that. So on the new one, it just slides down into itself there is no locking mechanism like on gen one so that's a difference no big deal it works just fine a key note is your t-handle which pops up and you aug it down 
I've had this happen on two Sobellos, and I've had this happen on Tommy Bahamas before. Uh, the little bolt that goes through, and then the receiver uh, part of the bolt, the, the female end that keeps the T-handle on, it may come loose in the bag or not completely tightened down. So before you go off to the beach with your new Sobello, pull it out, make sure that piece is tightened down because the last thing you wanna do is lose that tiny little thing in the sand because it happened with me on the new Gen 2. Uh, we were able to find it after about 20 minutes of kicking some sand around. It was just barely under the sand, but just completely disappears when you're out there. So keep that in mind. The fabric, I already talked about the beginning of the fabric, how there's less of a layer of fabric in there, which actually reduced drag and, and helped keep it afloat more in lighter winds. The other one would actually, Gen 1 would, would fail faster than Gen 2. And also, I really don't know if it's the fact of the added corner reinforcement for the much needed elastic stakes that can go down. And you basically have these yellow uh, screws that can screw, you kick some sand, get some dense sand, you screw those down, and then you got these little plastic hooks that go into the corners now on the Gen 2, which the corners are slightly reinforced, which means there's a slightly bit more weight, which actually reduced the flapping noise. I kept going back and forth from Gen 2 to Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 1 on heavy flapping uh, on high winds. And I've got a video just about what does it sound like in the wind, so go check that one out. And also, go check out the Generation 1 review of Sobello. I'll leave those uh, linked here. But uh, it's reduced noise. That's great. It uh, has a little added weight. That little bit of added weight sets the corners down a little bit and keeps it afloat a little longer and lighter wind. I believe that to be the case. Because I ask them, hey, is this fabric the same? Because I'm getting two different reactions here out of this. They're like, no, the fabric's the same. So that has to be the reasoning. The, the front start of the fabric change, uh, how it's sewn to the actually flapping fabric is reduced down to one layer now, and it goes into the flapping fabric, we'll say, the air fabric uh, canopy, and then those corners adds a slight bit of weight, which actually improves the ability to float in lighter wind. So that's a good thing. And, uh, it's actually a good thing, too, when the wind just completely goes away, because that will happen at some point on the beach if you spend a week out there. Uh, that elastic banding uh, is phenomenal. It does, I wondered how they were going to do it, and the elastic uh, helps to keep from tearing those corners out, because that's the last thing you want to do is tear those corners out. Um, so screwing that in, having those elastic banding, phenomenal. Uh, I wish they would sell maybe a kit to go along with the people that own the Gen 1 just for a short period of time. If you do it for a year or two or something, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but maybe, I don't know this to be a fact, but maybe paperclip uh, holders, the kind that you know you clamp down, it's the black triangle piece that just clamps onto to a stack of paper. Maybe that could work and having that elastic banding coming off of it or something like that and those screws. Because I looked those screws up, those are generic uh, little anchors that you can get off of Amazon for nothing. Uh, you can get a pack of those paper clips and maybe your own el elastic thing and, and rig it up yourself if you have a Gen 1 and you want to try it. I haven't tried it that way. I'll probably do that for sure the next time I go um, so that I can have two of these Gen 2 types uh, with no wind scenarios. Um, but yeah, definitely give that a shot if you have a Gen 1. I will say the anchoring system now for the Gen 2 it's fantastic. It worked great. It actually created like this dome, air dome a little bit slightly. So because you do have a little wind and it actually created kind of like a slight domey look for us out there. But it, it still worked great. It, it did exactly what it was supposed to do. So kudos for getting the feedback that it needed that and actually implementing that. And also I will say uh, if you go through their Instagram, uh, you can uh, chat with them and they'll get right back to you as well. So Bellows Instagram is a good place to chat with them if you've got questions before purchase. So that kind of sums up the Gen 1, Gen 2 comparison. Gen 2 is an 8x8 canopy that relies on wind, but not completely because you can anchor it down now, which is fabulous. It has a height of 7.5 feet tall, so you can walk underneath it and do whatever you need to do just fine. And as long as the wind's going, you don't have anything to worry about if you anchor it down. You kind of got a slight... It'll bow up a little bit. You can kind of get under there, but it beats 
the thing collapsing and dealing with pure sun and kids out there and stuff like that. And yourself out there burning to a crisp. Not anymore. Carrying case, 47 inches long with a weight of only four and a half pounds. So I do believe like this, this right now, the system that Soul Bellow has for the money is the best thing for you to carry out. The one and done thing to carry out there with you. And depending on how many people you have, uh, you could get a couple people underneath this, four people underneath this, completely comfortable. More than that, you add more uh, of these soul bellows under there. But if you have a large family out there on the beach, I've got something coming for you because I also reviewed another product. Uh, so make sure to look on the channel for the newest beach reviewed product because this next one's a doozy. It's massive. And I pulled it off and I actually like it. So I do like gen 2 so bello make sure to check it out link down in the youtube description and explode on that subscribe button and ding that down so you get notified on the next product review i got coming out see ya